hey welcome back to our channel welcome back to another video and before we start this video i want to you guys to help me appreciate this beautiful lady here <laughs> that's a surprise though <laughs> she wasn't expecting it but this lady is a very strong woman and i'm so appreciative of the fact that i have her as my wife yeah Hey, these two fingers in there. <laughs> All right. This video um, is a question that some of our subscribers have sent to us. And I, I think it's, it's something that is happening out there to a lot of people and have been to send it to us to want us to share it with you in answering her question means that it's really dear to her heart. And I'm praying and trusting that by the answers that we give, it will help you as well. Yeah. If, if, if um, perhaps you find yourself in such That's situation. situation. Yeah. And if you have any advice for her. If you have any advice for her as you well, can just you can leave it in the comment. Leave it and in the comment, yeah. She, she will read it. Because once this video is uploaded, I'll send her the link to watch. And then once the comments are flowing, she'll be able to work she'll, with her. Yeah. All right. So we have other we have a lot of questions that have been given to us to answer we are just trying and working on it so that we'll be able to uh, work with that well yeah. many times um the the times are a bit off and the hamatan is just the hamatan is crazy oh, it's God. just beating yeah. me in which i'm <laughs> okay. well. so i'm going to read the questions out then we'll try and answer it um, as much as possible as we can okay so this is what she said just after watching that's uh, that was after the the food challenge after i posted a food challenge she she actually mentioned that she went all the way from the beginning to watch all our videos <laughs> until the food challenge so she was like after watching your videos on youtube yeah. i have a lot of questions to ask you i was like really okay so ask the questions are a lot. Should we take it step by step? Yeah, let's take it step by step. Okay. I think the first one should. So we want to take it step by step so that we can be able to address it properly for you to be able to get it. Well, the first one is, she said she wants to settle down in two years time. That is from now, from this year. So two years time. So two years time would be like when? 2024. 2024, okay. 2023, 2024. For um, this year, 2023. So maybe the starting of 2024. 2024. Okay. Yeah. My question is, why not settle down now than want to settle down in two years' time? Okay, so me, I think everybody in their plan, you know, we sometimes we are there and we are like, we are not ready, maybe in two years' time we'll be ready. But I think when you're not ready, that's when you're ready. So even though you're planning for two years' time, maybe she knows her financial um state and how she wants everything to go maybe her planning and everything how a wedding would go and everything yes but the second question was well, there's something called cutting the coat according to your size yes the question is we had our share of the wedding ceremonies right and later you realize that all of these things are not necessary if you finish it at the end of the day my point basically is that mm -hmm. in two years time if it is about wanting to get ready in two years time <laughs> and the point is and i agree with what you said yeah. nobody is ever ready mm -hmm. nobody is ever ready and because nobody is ever ready you won't precisely and concretely know when you are ready yeah. so and I also believe that the time that you are actually not ready is for the time sure you are ready. ready sure. And here is why I believe that. The time that you are not ready, for me, it tells me that you don't need anybody to complete you. Well, because many people get into relationships with different reasons, different motives. And for some people who want to be in a relationship because they want somebody to complete them. They want somebody to be their better half. I always believe that nobody is our better half. Either you are full and I'm full, or you are half and I'm half. I mean, you know what I mean? So I think that if that two years time is when you want to get ready, it's not a problem. 
But wait till you get to that two years time and see whether you'll be truly ready mm. or not. Yeah. So I believe the best way is what scripture says. It says, by wisdom a house is built. That's Proverbs. By wisdom a house is built. By understanding it is established. Then by knowledge all the chambers are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Basically, if you want to get married, uh, there's a whole lot though. When you want to get married and you're thinking about two years time, there are a lot of factors to consider. You have to have wisdom. That is carefully planning it. Okay, so yeah, I I I, I understand what you're saying, the carefully plan uh, <laughs> the carefully planning it and all, but what if maybe okay you have the plans of getting married but at the moment you don't have money you don't have any resource for for that and you're working as a temporary um worker you're not a permanent staff like i would plan towards it yes unless planning the, towards it is, is the important part unless and and maybe I, I can give myself like okay in one and a half year time to come i would plan towards the sword and then I know that but what if we get there in my mind you never have it. the mind changes so that's also another factor to consider you are waiting to, for two years time you get to that, that two years time and your mind will change a lot of things can happen a lot of between, things can happen between, between you uh, and him between you and him you can start nagging exactly and all of that you know exactly even though two years in, in chamber though but it's it entails a lot and the second question was and the second question was that and he said well, when i become financially that's the guy is saying that you should become financially stable when the lady becomes financially, financially stable, stable then they can start saving together and plans towards the wedding, the wedding. it's <laughs> i can't think far for this guy i don't know when when he came and he was showing me the message i was like i should read this message i was like I, the only thing i could do was to shake my head i'm like why would a man wait for you to become financially stable before you guys marry he has his own plans because um a man who really wants who really wants your good who really wants to marry you who really thinks about you cares about you has love not the I don't love, but like the agape kind of love yeah. for you. First of all, that, that unconditional love is built on the inside. Yes, he wouldn't wait for you to be financially stable before you get married. Like, yeah. yes, he won't wait for you to be financially stable. Yeah, I think I also believe that if a man really wants to marry you, he's the one who's going to marry you. I, I believe that because he's the one who's going to marry you, uh, many, many times they will say all the cost is on him but but it is prudent enough that you the woman you support for just, sure. so, just so that just so that you are not drained for sure so if he's saying that you should wait till you both start saving before you get married um, he has his own plans i think he has his you. own plans yeah, yeah. you know it, some people can pretend and be with you you make your money and they spend it and then they move from you yeah. so like to be sincere I don't see any reason i don't see any positive reason from his side saying he wants you to be financially stable if he wants you to be financially stable then he should set you up before you marry yeah that one we know that okay he set me up i know by one year two years the business will boom up and even with that quite how would you know if the business would get to that stage yeah. or not yeah so so you would look at this question you really realize that if he's waiting for you to be financially stable, two years time is is, is small a time. Yes. Two years time can come right now before you realize that pass your eyes. Yes. So two years time is so small. And this time. kind of man would see a lady who has everything and would leave you and go there because of the money. Another thing to yes. another thing to that I want to say say is that until you are really married, and that was one of the things that I learned from my pastor's wife mm -hmm. before we even started counseling. Until you are married to the lady, your money is not his money. Yeah. And his money is not your money. Not at all. It, it is just, I don't want to use the word curtsy, but it's, it's just kindness enough for, for the person you claim you love. It's just mm. kindness enough for a man to say, oh, I want to give my lady maybe some monthly allowance. <laughs> or randomly, a woman or a man of best says some hundred Ghana be. Yeah. You know? Uh, or I just, maybe you are thinking about her. That's, that's showing kindness. Because for me, I remember when 
we 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 got into the relationship and we started like you were not giving me money i was like okay i have my money fine but if i'm really in a situation but, oh, but, but, where but sometimes i give her money oh surprisingly she'll be there now and then uh, how do you feel i just lose something uh, i just <laughs> why like <laughs> don't worry uh, don't worry <laughs> why do you want to like <laughs> until maybe Tim I... victor Tim victor we have to <laughs> oh my <I'm> actually <laughs> so when i'm really in need of something in which i am like okay maybe i have this okay let me ask him if if he gives me fine if he doesn't give me i move not that i'm moving into a new relationship but i'll still be there because you can't force someone to cater for you then why yeah. are you a human being yeah. why were you born why were you yeah. trained why did you go to school you have to do all of that you have to have your own so if he is willing to help you from his heart um if he's willing to help you if he's willing to give you money every week every day then it's him that is that's the kind of man he is but there are some men at the moment it's they are trying to wait oh um if I spend my money on you, how would we end up? Okay, someone would be like, oh, and yes, let me just spend my money on her and uh, we move. If she leaves me, fine. If, if she doesn't leave me, we, we settle down with her. Mm. But you can't force a man to do, to, to give you money or anything, in which I understand. But a man who will tell you until you are financially stable before you guys start planning marriage he has a plan he has a plan he definitely has a plan he's not communicating it but he yes. definitely has a plan in his mind also i think my last point on this will be that if you be financially stable it should be for yourself yes. like be financially uh, is it independent yeah, independent. yeah be financially independent for yourself yeah and, and then my other person. statements so it's both ways yeah. either the man is financially stable for himself and you the lady are financially stable for yourself yeah and then when it comes up to the issue of money i think our attitude our perspective and everything about money must also change you must also see it in a very different view for sure just so that because the whole point of money is that we must freely give we must willingly give it shouldn't be it shouldn't be based on condition yes if you are this then we'll do this yes it shouldn't be that like, okay condition. when i give you this i have to get this in return like no it shouldn't be that way and then look at this one too it says where i'm currently working it happened to be a contract job and and you see and she's looking for a job another job to go on to uh, so just what, i'm sure she's looking for another job just because the of guy the wedding or of the, the wedding having. good and the guy is like become financially stable before but Will God want you to become financially stable before He blesses you with something like no? no. no, 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 no. You start from scratch, like you start and get there with the person. But if your husband is telling you to be financially stable before he marries you, when you get into the marriage, a lot of things will happen. Yes. So on that note too, you have to really, really rethink really about that. You don't have to feel pressured to want to be looking for a different job no and all you need man is to just just add value to the job you are in yeah. just play your role well and i'm sure you get that promotion you are looking for yeah all don't, the feel, don't, yeah, don't feel pressured at all not because at when all. You, you see when you allow yourself to feel pressure you do things that later you regret yeah one thing i have come to learn is i, I won't go and do something because someone wants me to if my husband tells me to go and do this because he wants me then it's like i'm not living for myself i'm living for him yeah. in which i won't i would never the marriage won't even go on because we we, we won't be happy in the marriage yeah i will start nagging very soon he will start complaining that i'm not yeah. doing these things well with, with the work and all of that so i i I'm, yeah i don't think, I think you should yeah i, think, should I even, think what she's saying um I learned it that it's called the act of singleness. Yes, the act where, of singleness. Where you 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 focus on yourself as yeah. a man, you focus on yourself as a woman. Yeah. And you don't do anything really to because he wants me to do it or she wants me to do it. That's why I'll do it. Yeah. But you are doing it because you want to do it. Yeah. That is you. Because you have your own will, you have your own purpose, you have your own. So I want to be I want to look smart. I want to look nice. I want to wear that. 
three piece suit or that two suit Why don't you because go for I it? want to do it for myself. Yes. So whatever whatever the case be, let it be for yourself first. You have to do it for yourself first before any other thing. In because when you are doing it for time. yourself, it is in through that that he will even admire you the more and appreciate you the more. For sure. Because I believe that every purposeful and every forward looking man are looking for they are really looking for women who are making it out there to rather support them to push them to encourage them to rather do better yeah. so i mean in this field challenge, challenge, challenge. don't stress yourself to look for a different job no just add a good quota to the job you are in yeah. add value to it and you see they will promote you and i or think you get i better. think i think the lady should just add value to herself add more value to yourself your that, guy will just important. leave you and yeah go. Add value to yourself. that guy will just leave you because um no man no man who has seen a woman with value will just come and tell the woman yeah to like save before, before let's say before get, married. get financially when he sees more. what's in you he would marry you without a penny from exactly. me a, a lot has happened exactly yeah exactly so so we are moving on to the other ones the other one says that whether to create joint account to save into whether to get one bedroom apartment or two bedroom cause right now we started looking out for apartment. I would say stop looking for apartment with him. Don't do any joint. Don't account. do any joint account. I no. Right now you are not married. No. Even the joint account, then you have to really sit down after you are married to really really discuss it. Yeah. Because if you don't really talk about it and you do it and there won't be understanding like if there's no understanding in that and the issue start happening, my sister, you won't like it. You are not married. You're why? Not married. Why do you want to do a joint account with a man you are not married to? No. Even he's not having his own mind and how he wants to use the money or like he came in into the relationship with his own mindset why would he want a joint account with you when you guys are not married yeah like and then yeah so don't do it's not logic at all see, don't do you it. see if he is a man truly truly a man not a boy he has to be able to use his own money to leave his uncle's place and go and rent his own place and live in even before you would come there. Even before you would come there. So push him to rather do that. He should yes. be able to take his own money. If he's also working and he's making money, he's able to use his own money to go and rent. You guys are not married. Why would you share Forget about all your of those things. money into percentages? Sorry, into percentage where you would go and rent a place even before you get married? Forget about the whole thing. You've, like, I'm not sure the lady has heard of a lot of stories that's going on, like um, men doing GB. that their yeah, wives know, after marriage and all of that like yeah. and you get into your marriage and you come out just in six months and one month no yeah listen listen marriage even marriage doesn't exempt people's evil thoughts or evil doing story For sure. i mean and then they are talking about cars as well because he said he wanted us to get a car and the car is sixty thousand to six. Hey, you can use that. And he <laughs> wants that. you to pay forty percent. Forty percent. You know how much money he will pay sixty percent. In which, if he has the sixty percent, why is he still living with his uncle? See, I use my own money to buy me a car for myself. I met you with a car. She met me with a car. <laughs> <laughs> I but, but like to, to say, even if I met him and he tells me I should give him forty percent to buy a car, I don't know how I'll pull my legs back. I'm not sure he will hear from me again because it's not logic. Why should I help you? And 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 even the thing is, if we buy the car, who will be driving the car? Who will be driving the car? If you I'm be going him. to work, you're going to work. Who? You be him. Who? Forget it. You be and him. if he start driving the cars. Women will start sitting in the car. Exactly. But every man who has a car will surely look outside. Exactly. And can just you can just get a lift from anybody. You can just drop someone off. You can just do this. And anything can happen. We are human. So, listen, like, listen, at the end of the day, you don't truly and really know this guy. No, I'm not you sure. You don't. You don't. No, if she does, and I'm, I'm sure, not sure. I'm sure, sure in the relationship, we don't know the whole full scope of the relationship, but from what you have said, that is why we are giving you this answer the best way we can. Yeah. So, about the joint account, no, a very big no. About apartment and renting, don't even discuss whether two bedroom or single bedroom or anything. No, a rent, big no to that. Just rent for yourself and enjoy. Rent for yourself and enjoy. Life. See, see, right now, eh? see, right now, eh? you have to even be in your father's house. That's Let him right. come and marry you from there. And pick you that's away. Right. And then, and then go and start. See, yeah. like marriage is a whole boy. It's very beautiful. And you can't say I should 
like seriously after we marry and we will just put things together and fine but you're not expecting the woman to bring it fully our, our counselor said even if i make money in our marriage i become very rich and he he has money he should still he should still spend the money on us yeah. he, he shouldn't wait for me to also bring 50 percent or 30 percent of anything he should still do you know what it means when these things happens and i i get to a stage where i become rich my husband is still spending on me do you think i will start disrespecting him or be looking at him no, some way no i will because, hide my money and, and, and listen listen it's crazy. Na na naturally even naturally 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 uh, this boy there's a lot of question marks on him a lot of questions naturally marks. men don't really like women to give them money yeah we don't even like want you to no. add your anything to anything what to be the one to do but i know somebody who said that he will he will let a woman give him one peso so that at the end of the day if something happens the day will, the day will be uh, speaking to him by heart and say that i'm I know, the one i'm the one i'm the one i know one guy who one time asked me for money okay he asked me for money and i gave him and i reminded him on the money do you know what he did when he was bad he felt bad <laughs> and he complained oh, that and do you know what he did when he was paying me back he paid times two of it to tell me that like i don't need the money i don't need the money from you i just needed your help yeah and like at that moment you help you help yes so i know i have to pay you and this is the money and this is a thank you to do i felt bad i i felt bad than him hmm. so you can imagine a lot of men don't really like to train a woman is spending their money on, unless this man is an, an opportunist yeah he's an or, opportunist or, or, or a man who doesn't want to work yeah unless maybe the, the man has yeah, gone a lazy man a lazy man yeah or he or, has a deals and things that he's doing he wants good. to use your money but if it's not that then maybe the man is really in a hard um situation, con situation or condition where he would need a support from you not for you to give all the money because i've heard of stories one friend of mine has has <laughs> she, she has done her worst she has given all her money out and today they are no more and yeah. if, if like, you talk to her she would tell you that she won't put even 50 percent in yeah. 10 months but if you know how imagine. if you know how she has turned out now you, you know the person you will like it about. yeah the lady you told me yeah you will like it you when, when she's talking to you eh? like she has bitterness in her heart, in her heart. Her. so if a man come to her and she's like oh you mean jimmy like you know that thing yeah. i'm not ready for even though she wants to get married she has doubts like will this man come to me and do me good even though some men are giving her like a man would give a man she's still thinking will this man come and do me good or yeah you know so yeah so you see somebody like this if she doesn't heal right it will go it will take her a long, long time way. long time before she she finally settles down yeah yeah these things has effects on it's very people this, so this matter is very very critical it's and very i think critical. that you have to really really look into it before you take a decision on it but mm. the things we have said the no's are the very very big no's yeah all right let's go on to the almost uh, okay so we have the few ones no he said the mom knows me so so apparently in the relationship and yeah <laughs> read, read, you know, read, read, read all of this says, the mom knows me i got mm -hmm. the opportunity to meet i got the opportunity to meet her for the first time last July. july and went to visit her again over the christmas we are cool and she likes me mm -hmm. that's fine her, his mother likes you and knows you. That That's doesn't fine. mean she has given you the go ahead or the green light. Yeah. My mom also Hello. has. Oh, okay, so she said, my man also has a child. Mm -hmm. I think by a serious thing, that mm -hmm. is why she, she, yeah, she wants, sure. she's okay. So you see, my man also has a child. Wow. Mm -hmm. Your man has a child. And he's living with his uncle. And he's living with his, with his uncle. Now you should ask yourself, where is that child? Who is taking care of that, that child? child? Then you know that this. Let me know you say. No, let's go. And my relationship with her, which is the girl, has been great so far. My question is, will she ever acknowledge the fact that I am her dad's wife and call me a uh, mom? That's the question you're asking. <laughs> if you're already thinking about this, for Ishira, I didn't do anything for Ishira to like me or not like me. She just liked She me. just liked me all of a sudden. Ishira, first day I saw Ishira. I think mommy didn't even introduce me to no. to, to her. No, I and just said she just called me daddy. daddy. And I didn't I was like, what? 
do you know one thing i think um you know when someone hasn't met you and has seen how like let's say insurer you she hasn't met you before yeah. you've not met her but you've spoken to her on phone in which she's seen what how happy i am yeah where i go yeah how i'm acting and yeah. all of that she's seen the peace and happiness and all yeah. of that she knows that and i'll tell her oh i'm going to victor's place and come in all of that and she will surely ask you a question who is victor like yeah, even though she's young, she's seven years old, getting to eight years old. Yes. Don't, don't mistake in that. So they know all of that. So if a kid, you're scared, sometimes some kids don't come forth. Yeah. They want you to go the extra mile. And also, and also you are a woman and she's a girl. That relationship is usually some way. Good. That relationship usually And sometimes way. it comes from the parent of the child. It yeah. comes from the man or woman who gave birth to the child. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if the man is not um, pushing her, not harshly, but like driving her towards you and all in conversation and like, oh, so they will go to um, Mommy, ma so, 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 this place or all of that. The child wouldn't do it. No matter when you go to heaven and come back to earth, the child wouldn't do it. L listen to this, I said. I love my little girl, which is a girl, mm -hmm. so much and would want to grow the relationship I have with her to the next level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not your little girl yet, too, my dear. No. <laughs> She's She's not your you see, girl the thing is that the thing is that She's before you meet the person, I think that the whole point to it is it is not by your power, it's not by your mind, no. it's not by your will, no. it's not by your anything you have or no. carry that will no. make a child acknowledge you or you acknowledge the child yeah mm. if it is not god if it's not god then it won't it's, work it's, it's, yeah sure. you try and try and try and, the, sure. and that, yeah. that, that, that alone can even break your marriage or relationship yeah. so mm -hmm. this is why we would rather say focus on yourself build your relationship with god understand all the intricacies and things that and how governs this and thing. how a child would be trained to yeah how the child will be trained to is solely, uh -huh. and it's a long story because it's a very long story. This is really because big. when I like when we were dating, Insha never visited. I never took Insha to his place. No, not at all. It was after one year, Namibwa. Yeah. After one year, when we were going to get married, that was an I. She came to visit she came one to visit. day and left, and we left back, and then and we, we had to spend some weekend together. And then all that was all, I, that it was me. even like twice or three times but okay. you were visiting and talking to her on the phone so yeah. it was like it were growing with it but if the man is not giving you the opportunity to talk to his daughter how would you go a relationship with her okay like, so this word is really hitting my head so much mm -hmm. she said my dad is beginning to act funny that's the girl's dad because he expects my man to call him text him from time to time but my man is quite a shy type and also does not see the reason to be doing that. The fact that your man is not seeing reason to be calling your dad, texting your dad. Oh, no, even with that con, it's not anything. No, it's not compulsory. It's not compulsory for that your, your man, your should, man call should be or calling text your dad. or anything. But, but it is wise enough to do that. It's wise now to, keep, no. to have a relationship with their father. It's not, it's not really some form of relationship. It's not really compulsory. It's not compulsory. I, mean, I don't know. But like, like um, you when you go there, just be open, have a conversation. Even if you live and you don't call Christ, fine because fathers don't really okay. have so let, much. Let, let, coming, let me read this one. Fathers don't really have so much relationship with son in laws unless. The, f the father is very open to all of this but, yeah. but this it seems the father wants to have that kind of relationship with the guy at home we started dating and we even got married i don't remember the last time i really called your dad yeah when like, i would speak to him was is when you are speaking to him and i always say hello to him and yeah. then that'll be it but i've not really no. texted her dad and my dad is okay dad. with it and he's, not okay. yeah, he's not complaining he's not complaining like you have your life but when you something... should think about someone yeah but you have your life so if me i'm going to visit my dad today and i'm going with him and you buy him something he would really appreciate but it's not compulsory for you to have a good relationship with your yeah. father-in-law let me read the okay. last part of the story the 
Mm. So, so that we see how we can answer that. It says, I explained things to him, that is, and told him he did not really grow up with his dad. Mm -hmm. So he didn't really get the vibe he has with me mm -hmm. and my sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the girl is saying that, sorry, the girl is saying that um, he explained to his dad, her her dad? dad that the boyfriend didn't grow up with his dad. So he doesn't have that vibe. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, they are cool, but my dad wants more of it. Mm -hmm. My man also is also reserved. I haven't met his dad yet. He's not really like that with him. His mom and his dad are not together. The dad is already married to another woman. He says when it's getting when it's getting to the year we begin preparation. That is when we will go and see his dad. Do you think something is wrong somewhere? Cause he told me at a point last month that he did not like my man. So so her father is saying that he doesn't like. So it's <laughs> either mom. it's either the father is um, sensing something. something and wants more of the guy because he wants the guy to prove him wrong. Yeah. Yes, but if you are not proving him wrong, then he will continue to say that he wants more from the guy. Yeah. Yeah. And and so I, I think, think also is that what I also think is that you know she will explain further the issue between the guy and his dad, mm -hmm. but I think that for the status, if the guy. The guy literally has to just resolve whatever he has with his dad. If he doesn't resolve it, the question I'm going to ask you is that, oh, and I learned this during counseling, that your husband is not just your husband. He has only taken over from your dad. That is how your dad was taking care of you. Your husband has only taken over to take care of you, even a little more than your dad was taking care of you. So my question to you is that, if he doesn't have a relationship with his dad, if he and his dad doesn't see eye to eye, he and his dad are having issues and he has not resolved it. Has he been fathered? Has he learned how to become a husband? Has he learned all of those things? If he hasn't, then you should ask yourself a question. How your dad has taken care of you, do you think he can take care of you like that? And also, I, I, I would also ask the girl to ask the guy, what's really between you and your dad? Like yes, the, the guy was between the guy and the dad. Yes, what's really between you guys? You know, someone wouldn't go with a father, okay, yeah. but through reading of books and, and learning, learning, yeah, he would he would go and marry and be the best father of yeah. like of his kids, yeah. like so well that you'd be surprised that this man who wasn't fathered. Yeah. has given out his best yeah. so if so then it's either the guy doesn't want to learn or has um um is it a stable mind on one thing he has a fixed mind. a fixed mind yeah. on one thing that okay my dad is like this so if so he's at the side i'm at my side yeah. what he does not what i do i will live my life but that one too can cause a lot of trouble you get that yeah so i think the guy the guy should just go back to to his dad but if if not it's either the guy would want to learn and move on yeah so it's two options oh, okay so for me myself i didn't really grow up with my mother mm -hmm. but i took it upon myself to learn to read yeah and that is what is helping me today yeah. like literally that's what's helping me today yeah but I, because there was a point I never saw her to have my mother. Mm -hmm. We literally would fight almost every day. But now we don't anymore because I had to learn, how to study. I had to really learn how to talk to women. I have to learn how to handle myself as a man. I have to learn how I have to literally, by the grace and help of God, be able to be where I am today and know what I know yeah. today. And and, and, and that, that has been it. And it even, been God. If, if, if I was to be in a girl's shoes, I would question the guy so much that um I would want to know what really came between you and your dad that you don't want to go and see him until you are going to get married. What if you go that, and that, he that, says That's a very no. big mistake. A very big mistake I would mistake question him. Me, like this, when I get into a relationship, my eyes are on the ground. Your character, the way you talk, everything is something I'm looking out for. So if I, I notice, like, we are like, you, you don't want to go and see your dad until we marry, like, it's not logic. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. What did your father do? What at all would come between a father and a child? You know, huh, another thing too I'm thinking is that she's saying that her dad is married to another woman. Mm -hmm. And the dad has children with another woman. Mm -hmm. 
so that means that um, the boy's dad and his mom had an affair and they gave birth to him mm -hmm. that means that the dad is not married to the man and uh, to the mom of the boy so the thing is you don't know if they were married and got divorced okay or they weren't married and got divorced okay but but, but what at all would make we we'll make that happen because if it's fine if your father hasn't taken care of you that's one i'll come out clear and tell you my father wasn't there for me so i don't need my father that's when i'll get to know your character from the start because from the way you talk it's like yeah. you, you because you never had a father you you want to become the best of it yeah. but you still mention your father to me yeah. that if we are getting closer to the marriage we will go there yeah. so it means that you and your father had a relationship yeah and another thing i'm also thinking is that um she the girl has to be very careful yeah <clears throat> very careful because if the guy doesn't really settle with his dad and himself mm -hmm. he will repeat the same cycle that his dad repeated yes there's no doubt there's no fight about it we even learned this in counseling that there are things we have to get rid of we have to work on mm -hmm. so that we don't repeat those same things in, in our, in yeah. our um, marriage because if how our, our dads treats our, our mom and treated us those are the things we learn and those are the same things we bring into our relationships and marriages yeah. so just so that you are safe and you are, you are sound you have your own your your mental health is is in check the guy has to sort all of those things out with him um, if not he will repeat the same thing what then, his dad is doing and then oh repeat the same thing maybe he, he would even do his worst because it's either maybe he's, you do he's it. lying or saying the yeah, truth about his dad and then um one thing i wanted to talk about the moms the guy's mom side where the girl said oh she's cool with the mother see there are some mothers who want him to elevate her son bringing a girl home and, and introducing her fine and there are some mothers who would tolerate it and accept you but when he brings another woman they would they will take in they'll take in mm -hmm. again there's another story that but my mom, there's another story that we have received we we'll also do a video on that story someone here. like my mom when you bring when my brother brings a girlfriend they, they find they fight in the house <laughs> before everything comes down and my mother doesn't smile she won't smile towards like towards the girl at all me when i was in a relationship before my mom was always hitting me this man won't take you anywhere this one not him the yeah. one before him he won't take me anywhere and she gets angry anytime i say i'm going to visit him she would insult me fight with me tell me not to come back by the time i come back she would lock my door and true true so you can imagine so she wasn't tolerating but i was like <laughs> yes so i was forcing myself to end it true after all that where am, where i where am i uh i'm okay it's correct yeah <laughs> where am i i'm here with someone else so like she knew it but some mothers would tolerate everything you bring some mothers are like okay or maybe i bear my own day or baby and maybe i bear my intent normal so don't accept the fact that the mother if the mother really wants you to be her in-law or her daughter-in-law she will sit you down question you where are you from this and this my son has a daughter you know my mom did that to you no my mom did that um, to you yeah, telling yeah, you that yeah. about about Shira, Shira, like i have a daughter in law yeah. the, the boys the guy's mom will sit you down question you are you ready and all of that but if the guy didn't go and introduce you and introduce you as a friend my sister forget about it yeah. and then and then my, my last no. point on this is that if your dad doesn't like him he doesn't like him yes don't See, kill yourself don't kill yourself he because, has a reason because he your dad has his absolute reasons if he's not doing this your dad knows why he's he's, he's saying this mm. and you can't force this to happen because at the end of the day when you're even maybe ready to marry your dad will say he won't accept the marriage oh what will you do even with this can it's not like your dad doesn't want to accept the marriage your dad says he wants more from him so it means that he has seen something in yeah. which you the kid you're not seeing yeah L let me say this proverb they say um opening or being a bit that so maybe your dad has <laughs> so your dad has your dad is a man he's a man he's a father he's a husband so if a man has come to my house yeah so if a man has come into my house then it means that he knows what so literally is expected the, the, the guy has not maybe met her dad because on the way the dad is speaking it's like the guy has not met him no i'm sure the guy has met him <laughs> no from yeah she said like she, he visited me the first time you, you met my dad when we went to visit him there and you were like let's pray before all of that 
when we left, my father was like, Min so ni mu yi, like, so you can imagine. So it's not just about you sending a man to the house. Parents, a, a good parent would scan the man from head to toe. Yeah. Even though they don't know him, they will scan him from the way he talks, from his reaction, body, uh, body what? Body language. Body language. <laughs> <laughs> body language and all of that. They will scan him. Even women, so when we go to our in-laws, they will scan us from head to toe. Okay. So like, um, for me, if I, if I would advise you, I would tell him, sit him down, talk to him, ask him questions. Why yeah, does he don't, want don't you just to act bring 40%? Like, prove, prove a lot. Prove ask a him, lot. What, if he says you should bring 40%, who will be driving the car to work? Prove a lot. If he says this, then who will be providing for this? Like, ask him questions. And, me, and, and, and listen, listen, I also believe this strongly that don't just be in a relationship because you want to be there. You see, there, there are a lot of things that you have to do. Yeah. And maybe let me I'm share really these five things with you. Then I, I, we go I call this a close. Be with a man who has a relationship with God. Yeah. If he doesn't have a relationship with First God, I would say leave him. Mm -hmm. Be with a man who has a job, who is making ends meet at the end of the day. Yeah. A man who can cultivate you, who can who, who can build you, who can add value to you. Yeah. A man who can protect you. Mm -hmm. do, do you get what I mean? Like there, there's a lot of things, but if this guy is not do you don't feel these things with him. Uh, I'm a serious Christian and I believe in serious stuff. And you must be serious about something to want to build something together. And if he doesn't add something, it's not about sex or anything, no, it's about it's about the values that he has that he's going to give you. Yeah. And the value that you also have that you're going to give him. So if he doesn't have these things, Charlie, you have to rethink. And to rethink. lastly, don't worry. I have a lot to say in which like how our wedding was planned, how who how I was before we got married. Yeah. And all of we'll, that. We'll do a video we'll on that. Sure all we'll talk about that. it. We'll talk about it. Because now the youth, the youth there now wants to make a whole lot of money before they get into something and the, the youth the perception of a youth a young youth like a woman a lady is something else yeah. and the mind of a young youth a male is something else yeah. so i think we'll, do a, so, we'll do a video so, in which will help even if it's a little um, knowledge from us it will go far because it's very important um, i think experiences uh, what help a lot of people with, yeah, with life yeah. so and then also lastly talk to your own mother and your own dad about relationship about marriage they are the first if not god being the first your mother and your father are the first starting point to get a better idea about what marriage relationship and man and woman all of those facts, they are the best point to start with you know so don't even go to any friend to get any advice from them talk to your father and your mother they are the first and the yeah. best and god is so that is all and god is but you know some african parents don't do that yeah but you have to try you try guys so me me my mom would advise about sex she told you how to do it like me, as you get my mom my mom, my, me too, my mom never really uh, discussed that with me but it's something that i have learned mm, that there are some things that if i need anything to know about woman right now I'll go to my mom. Yeah. Charlie, I'll go to my mom and all my pastor's my mom, wife. My, my mom. Even my pastor's wife, and I'll go to my mom. Because my, they are like the two yeah. they are the two best people right now in my life that yeah. I, I can talk to any anyhow, any way about woman and marriage and anything. Yeah, because um, my mom was my mom was the one who was like, um, when you're going to marriage, do this so many way. even even before like we be in a relationship and all, anytime she's talking, she tells me, a man has to do this for you. He, she's not saying like give me money or something no she's saying a man when a man really likes you he would go in for this for you mm. he would do this for in for you he would want your mind change like blah blah he would want you not to do some things he would help you with all of that so i think with all of that it helped but african parents don't really do that so mm. it's a whole issue unless maybe you, you are going into a book or you've had experiences where your mind is telling you this experience that i've had I'm making the next step where I won't do this anymore, yeah. and I'll but move the, from there. But there are some experiences that are, <laughs> that 
are breeding wrong information, wrong education. So you have to watch out for that. Yeah. Well. Because me, any experience I have in which I think about this, I'm like, okay, I didn't do this well. Even though it was from that guy or that person, I didn't do this well too. If I should have done this, this would have happened. Yeah. So I would rather move from my mistake, correct my mistake from Every the mistake past. Every mistake is a lesson. Yes, correct my mistake from the past and then my present, I move on with it. The next mistake I do, I'll correct it. I won't blame someone no, not for all. my mistakes. Not so yeah, so. Anyway, uh, we hope this helped you. Yeah. If this answered your question and it helped you, and not only you, the one who has sent us a question, but at large, anyone who is watching if this helped you please let us know in a comment and then um, if you have any other more questions or something that you want us to talk yeah. about for you or share our uh, thoughts and our ideas on for you please do well to send it to us i'll put an email in the description so that you can send your your stories and questions and thoughts to us mm -hmm. we truly appreciate you for supporting us and watching like it we say if you watch it Share with your friends. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thank you so thank much. God you bless so you. Much. But it's I, I lights this, out, so I'm I'm on fire. <laughs> so I have this Don't impression that we should pray for for her briefly, and then pray for everybody, anybody who is in that same situation. Mm, yeah. Sure. So let us pray, mm. Father, in the name of Jesus. We mm. pray for this young lady who has sent us his challenges and problems. Mm. We pray that Father, you help her by granting her wisdom, mm -hmm. by granting her understanding, mm -hmm. by granting her revelational information and knowledge that would help her be able to navigate her life well mm -hmm. in the purpose and plan that you have designed for her. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you help her be able to make right decisions the first time. Mm -hmm. And we pray that you help her get stable in her mind, get stable mm -hmm. financially, get stable on her job. And I pray by the sheer power of the Holy Ghost and miracle, she be retained in her job in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Father, we pray that she be healed of any wound, of any confusion, of any depression, of any loneliness, of any pain in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, we pray that the power of sound mind wake up in her mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. And for anybody who is watching us right now who also needs healing, we pray that Father grant them this healing mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God Amen. bless you so God much. Bless you so much. We love yeah. you. Have peace in your heart. Have peace in your yeah, heart. When you have peace, I think everything will follow. Yeah, and follow your heart. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't be stubborn. No, I want. I want let, sorry, <laughs> let me say the yeah. last one. Women are stubborn. Even if we see the mistake, we are still going for it, hoping said things will change. But when you are seeing things that is going wrong, we should just accept the wrong side and move on from there. We shouldn't kill ourselves for things that wouldn't better our future in some years to come. Mm.